Early day pioneers would travel to Kansas by covered wagons. The inside of the wagons was filled with the belongings the settlers wanted to bring with them. Since the inside of the wagon was full, children and others would walk along the wagon. Infants and smaller toddlers could ride. Typically, the mother would drive the wagon while the father and other men would scout ahead for food. They would also scout for the landscapes in Native Americans. Majority of the Native Americans were harmless, but there were some tribes that were dangerous. These wagons were pulled by strong oxen. Sometimes loads were too heavy for them to pull, so the pioneers would sometimes have to take items out of the wagon and leave them behind in the wilderness. Pioneers would typically travel with other pioneers with wagons. This is called a wagon train. At night, all the wagons would come together and form a circle. Inside the circle were the animals so they would not wander off or be stolen. Children's chores would include greasing the wheels first thing in the morning. They would also gather cow patties or cow poop to be used for fire. The pioneers would carry some tools with them to fix the wagon in case there was an issue. If the wagon couldn't be fixed, it was left behind with all the belongings and the family would join up with another one on the wagon train. The wagon also had a box on the side of it, which was the kitchen. The pioneers would use this to prepare their food and cook over a fire. A water barrel was also on the wagon that carried the water for the pioneers between their stops. After the settlers reached their destination, they would begin to build homes. Sometimes the pioneers would take the stretched canvas off the top of the wagon and use that as a roof for their new home.